Harvey here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel today. In today's video, we're gonna talk about vocal projection. So if you like today's video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up or click the subscribe button below. I would so love to see you here like every single day. Let's be friends, seriously. <laughs> so vocal projection, what is it? I'm really glad you asked, but let's first talk about what it isn't. A lot of people will simply say that projecting your voice means simply making your voice louder so everyone in the room can hear. Now, that's part of it, but that isn't all of it. Projection is so much more than simply volume. So in your mind, try not to see that projection and volume are one and the same. Okay, they're very different because projection has a sense of movement to it. When you project your voice, what you're really doing is landing your voice into what's called the mask. The mask is the front part of your skull, the nose, your mustache here, and your chin. It's just like this little megaphone right here. But it's when we concentrate our vibrations into this very specific area. What a lot of people don't know, or they may forget, is that most of your volume is produced inside of your head. Okay, that's very important to remember or to learn, is that most of your volume is produced in your head. It's not in your throat. So when people have, uh, when they're trying to sing louder, there is a tendency for most folks to emphasize the throat. And that's super normal, super, super normal. They're just pushing a little bit more air through the throat and vibrations kind of collect there. It gets trapped a little bit and the sound itself becomes shrill, shouty, and slappy, <laughs> slappy. What we wanna do with vocal projection is land the sound into the mask. You're gonna have a ton of volume, but the sound itself will be very fluid and focused at the same time. That's the difference, that's the biggest difference. So how do we practice this sense of projection? Awesome. I'm really glad you asked. The best way to do it is to skip the throat entirely and propel your sound into the mask by practicing this wacky, crazy baby sound. And I encourage you, my friends, my amazing, beautiful YouTube musical family, be silly. Be absolutely absurd, okay? You're playing with access and I want you to really hear this okay access is more important than the sound right now okay access is more important than the sound right now what we're gonna do is this we're gonna build a frame of reference for this very specific entry into the mask okay specific entry frame of reference it's like an outline on a coloring book Okay, and then when, once we have that familiarity, once we're used to sending the sound into that spot, then we're gonna fill it in by bringing the sound down. So to demonstrate a wacky, crazy baby sound, I'll go ahead and demonstrate for you. actually hope that that's a little annoying because I really want to encourage you to go that crazy. Feel how it feels when you send your sound into the mask. So let's try that together. It doesn't have to be that high, but let's try something silly like that together. Ready? Here we go. sound going right into the mouth, or sorry, not the mouth, the nose, <laughs> but skipping the throat, that's what's important. Access is more important than the sound. Okay, cool. So once you get a familiarity with that, you can start to bring that down, okay? So for, for those of my friends that feel like, I don't care, I don't wanna sound like that at all, at any time, well, shame, shame, because you're really missing out. But let me go ahead and really uh, address if you feel like you're having a mental block. You're not gonna sound like this. When you're singing songs, your finished sound, your completed sound, what everybody sees, your finished sound is not where you start. That's where you 
end. So what we're doing right now, again, to reinforce the idea, is we're building a frame of reference. We're getting that pinpoint frame of reference, building a new behavior, ascending the sound forward into the mask, and then we're gonna, like a coloring book, we're gonna fill in and color in those lines and really give it shape. But your finished sound is not where you start, it's where you end. Baby sound is where you start, okay? So the best time to practice this Again, it's not when you sing. You, you're more than welcome to practice it when you sing, but really see if you can practice it when you speak. Now, of course, I don't imagine that you'd go out into the world, hey guys, how's it going? I'm good, how are you? Like, I don't imagine that you're gonna do that, but I really recommend reading. Reading aloud for like 30 seconds, a minute, every day. I'll demonstrate. I just happen to have my little Outlander book here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to demonstrate baby voice, just reading. And what I would like for you to do as you're reading is to see if you can mimic the versatility of music. Music's everywhere, right? It's very fluid, it's very flexible, and it's powerful in an instant. So this is what projection using the baby voice is going to give you. So see if you can mimic that unpredictability as you're reading. Okay, so let me see if I can give you an example. <clears throat> I had so far avoided looking at him, but now glanced up to find him staring down at me. His face was white and carefully expressionless. He looked as he had when I had dressed the wound in his shoulder. I tried to smile at him, but the corners of my mouth wobbled precariously. So do, do you see how silly that is? I mean, that makes no sense. But what I'm doing is building that point of reference of going high and going low and going every which way, but staying really fluid about it because that is what music is gonna do. But what you wanna do, again, once you have that frame of reference, is start in Crazy Baby, and then see if you can, like I said, fill in those lines by bringing it down into the mouth, into a sound that feels representative of you. Again, let me demonstrate. I had so far avoided looking at him, but now glanced up to find him staring down at me. His face was white and carefully expressionless. He looked as he had when I had dressed the wound in his shoulder. I tried to smile at him, but the corners of my mouth wobbled precariously. Do you see how I slowly started bringing that down into my mouth? But as I was doing that, I'm really focusing on keeping it nice and forward. So it's gonna still feel at so in some way that I'm still doing the baby sound, but I'm graduating the space or the sound down into my mouth space. Does that make sense? Good, 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 good. So you're more than welcome to kind of practice this when you sing your songs as well. Um, really try, again, just to reinforce the idea, access is more important than overall sound right now. The more you really get comfortable with this new kind of access, it's easier for you to kind of bring it down into the front of the face, into a sound that's more representative of who you really are, and um, it's much easier. You won't feel pressure building in your throat. You'll feel uh, range extension, more flexibility, and of course, more projection. But it all is really about that baby sound. And if you're really into you know, maximizing and building new behaviors, just be aware of where your voice is every time you open your mouth to speak. So if you are meeting with your friends, like I said, I don't expect you to go, oh my God, hey guys! You don't have to do that, but really notice if there's a tendency for you to fall like back in the throat, then just be aware of sending that sound more forward into your mouth. So it does your voice doesn't have to change that like that much when you're talking, but really use every single time you open your mouth to speak as an opportunity to practice your singing. All of our singing behaviors they're not just singing, they translate over or they carry over from our behaviors when we speak. So use every time you open your mouth to speak as an opportunity to practice sending your sound forward into your mask. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up or click the subscribe button below. Like I say, 
I would love to see you here literally every day. I love you guys. I love hearing from you guys. So if you have a particular question you'd like for me to answer, please feel free to leave it in the comments portion of today's video. I love hearing from you. Again, thank you so much for joining me today and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye guys.